guys, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. So it's okay. What King's so, Quest is this? <laughs> we just this finished Quest eight? playing King's Quest 7. Oh, yeah. So, in, in, in as sort of a palate cleanser, after the yeah. whimsy of Falderal and Etheria, um, and just we sort go of to a game with no whimsy at yeah. all. <laughs> you are in with... the bullshit free zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, listen to that. Fun will not be tolerated. <laughs> this is codename Iceman. The tagline of which is "Getting Jim Shit Done." Holy shit! This song is awesome. By ex High- California Highway Patrolman Jim Walls. Yeah, you go, Jimmy. Yeah. Now, the Tom Clancy of his day. Now, correct me if I am wrong, but this is actually a spin off of Top Gun, where we play a very much in the future <laughs> Iceman, who is now a disgraced pilot, but he's uh, trying his hand at, uh, at Navy type shit. You know what? Let's run with that. that. All right, fine. <laughs> he kind of, he kind of, he does really look like Val Kilmer. They may have used him as an art reference. I mean, you got to do something there. That's yeah. special thanks, Bob Stewart of the U.S. Navy. Oh yeah, where the fuck are we? We. This is Bora Bora. Come on, they... give us a give. Welcome to the beautiful island of Tahiti. Where warm South Pacific breezes caress the emerald fucking, I don't know, a place of fun and relaxation, a place where love and romance can be found, a wonderland where anyone can get lost in its magic. (sighs) We find our man, Commander John B. Westland of the United States Navy, enjoying a well-deserved leave from his recent assignment. Our story opens with Commander Westland on the beach, soaking up the sun. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Hey, baby. Hey, hey. how you doing? Hey. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have a good day. Do you There's enjoy some, some video games? <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> well, I do. Hey, guys, got to go return some tapes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He had blonde hair in the picture, but he's clearly got black hair here. What games do you like? <laughs> All right, so... We are back in the text parser era of games. I love it. I miss this. Me too. Yeah. On the table, you see a news magazine. A news magazine. A, n- a news magazine. A news periodical. <laughs> you read an article featuring the North African country of Tunisia. Because of its global oil shortage, this small third world country finds itself in a powerful political position. Fucking rights it did. Keep, keep 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 that in your head, head guys. Because of Tunisia's neutral stance and her overabundance of high-grade crude, the United States and Russia find themselves in a tug of war as they negotiate for the oil. Oh, we got some fucking Cold War fucking undertones here. Yeah. Love it. Fucking love it. After, after reading the article, you begin to think, hmm, what a dangerous, explosive situation this could be. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not I safe. Already like it's not safe. Commander Westland's voice that you've chosen for him. Well, it's better than <laughs> you like video games. <laughs> <laughs> that will be his voice from time to time. Oh yeah, he works out. I am ripped. Ripped. I like one of those one of those guys who exercises so much that they're constantly just like fucking bow legged and walking weirdly. <laughs> He's like, yeah, can I go, go, get, in, my, go get my Mai Tai massive on? physical pain. Get my freak yeah, going on. Get my volleyball yeah, on. Oh, volleyball. we got a volleyball game going on. Look at these people. Look at how amateur they, a, they are. They need a double. Well, jump in here. A girl beckons. Glad you joined in, she says. Two against one is making me hot. And we all know that Iceman can <laughs> play volleyball. I didn't read the rest. And just watch my score grow. Do you like video games? <laughs> I do. She's. I played a volleyball game once. Yeah, good. On on my Nintendo. It was, it was summer games. <laughs> Super Spike V Ball. California games summer. Oh, I played California games. 
That was a great game. What about Urban Champion? Do you like Urban Champion? Oh my god, Urban... Fuck! (laughs) Oops, there goes the ball. (laughs) Uh, I'll just go get it, no big deal. (laughs) You hear calls for help. He's like, oh, I am am so going to get some action from this. This again, huh? All right. (laughs) You reach the drowning girl and find her unconscious. <laughs> Grabbing her, you swim back to the beach. Grabbing her. Yank. Wow, she didn't. She. You quickly poison the woman flat on her back <laughs> with her head slightly below her heart. Making sure once and Uh-oh. for all she is dead. <laughs> okay, so this game came with a very detailed manual with oh, a God. lot of things in it. I may actually like take a screenshot and just paste it up right here for you to see. Um, boom, boom. Where, yeah, at, where you have to. Shit. This game really, really wants you to do everything literally by the book. Like they have this this detailed fucking like submarine or operations manual and and just kind of in this random part of the book, tucked away are is the the process for CPR. Uh, I swear and so, it's, it, it's like am, fucking King's Quest three spells, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah man. Very, very similar. I mean it's that that sort of uh, copy protection type thing. The right? kind of pressure, yeah. Yeah, man. So uh, I am going to be uh, reading this out loud. So circulation. The third skill of CPR is chest compressions, which replace the heartbeats of the victim. They maintain some blood flow to the lungs, brain, coronary arteries, and other major organs. Anytime chest compressions are performed, mouth-to-mouth rescue breathing must also be performed. There's actually a lot more before that. Uh, Note, the following one-man CPR performance guideline was taken from the 1987 Heart Saver Manual by the American Heart Association. Oh man, I Step owned one. the 1987 heart saver. Lay manual. victim on back. Okay, nice. victim's already, already on done. the back. So, step two: shake and shout <laughs> to establish responsiveness. Do it. We'll After gently shaking the victim, you try getting a response by saying, "Are you awk? Are you awk? <laughs> Are you awk? Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Look at that guy in the blue hat. He's like, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but uh, it's getting me hard. <laughs> his his, his fist is kind of weirdly positioned Ugh. here. Uh, okay, so step three. Call up. Oh, right, so I have to wait until. Okay. Okay. Go. She's going to die. Call for help. Call for help. Turning to the others, you shout, Please! Someone go for emergency medical aid. Excitedly, the man says, I'll take care of that right now! <laughs> and off I go. <laughs> okay, step four. Establish the airway. And then it says, open the mouth and sweep with fingers. Quickly, you tilt her head back and open her mouth. Sweeping the open mouth with your finger, you make sure nothing is blocking her airway. Okay, step five. Turns out your Look, fingers are. Listen and oh. feel. Look for oh, chest yeah. rising, listen for breath, feel for breath with cheek. You place your ear close to the victim's mouth and try to listen and feel for a breath. At the same time, you look to see if the chest is moving. All right. That other woman now, isn't doing next anything. Step. Like, maybe she Give may- two good breaths. What were you saying, Andrew? I don't know, like, I, you know, maybe dude's thirsty. Like, maybe the other woman could go get him, like, a 7-Up or something. <laughs> I need a 7-Up. <laughs> diet! Diet! <laughs> Give us some privacy. God damn it. You pinch the nostrils closed, open your mouth wide, and take a deep breath. You make a tight seal over the victim's mouth and breathe into her. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> you take another deep breath. And breathe into her mouth again, watching her chest rise comically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so nothing has <laughs> like happened. Look, step seven. Like repeat right. step five. Look, listen, and feel. After giving the victim two ventilations, you look, listen, and feel again. However, you still can't get a response. She's been brain dead for hours. You are, however, quite aroused. 
<laughs> check, check pulse. Check pules. You check the carotid, the car, carotid artery. Fuck, sorry. For five to ten seconds to try to find a pulse. Unfortunately, you don't. After Yay! the above steps and still no vital signs, begin compressions. Position heel of hands approximately three inches above the edge of the stir- the end of the sternum. Compress the chest one and a half to two inches at a rate of one hundred times per minute. Fucking the ratio awesome. of compressions to breaths for one person are fifteen compressions to two breaths. Check for pulse every minute. Continue Holy step fuck. number eight until breathing and pulse are established or until competent help has arrived to like, relieve you. I guess you better start it's typing fucking... all that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's like Begin gold rush. compressions. Quickly, you locate the bottom of the sternum. Using your index and middle fingers, you measure up the chest, finding the proper point to start the compressions. Using the heel of your hands, keeping your fingers from touching the chest, of course. <laughs> you start chest compressions at a ratio of 15 compressions to two breaths. You act fast, compressing the chest one and a half to two inches at a rate of 80 to 100 compressions per minute. Wait, this sounds familiar. That's a pretty sweet scene. In the excitement, rate. you think to yourself, I must check her pulse. One minute. And where's my fucking seven up? <laughs> I, this is really fascinating. I've never seen anything like this before. Is she okay? <laughs> you check the ca- carotid artery again. You become excited as you notice she is breathing on her own. And you detect a faint pulse at the same time, both in her and in your dick. <laughs> <laughs> but of course. Nothing, nothing gets you hotter than saving a life. You continue checking her pulse and detect that it's getting stronger and stronger. You know what else is getting stronger and stronger? That guy. <laughs> <laughs> you watch as the doctor examines the girl. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> the doctor turns to you and says, Well, sir, thanks to you, this young lady is going to be just fine. She starts moaning and mumbling and attempting to get up. Everyone laughs. <laughs> Pictures are taken. <laughs> she insists on standing up, so you help her up. Nice. Although still a little shook up, the young lady you just rescued thanks you for saving her life and says... It was fortunate for me that you were here, and that you're a strong swimmer. Oh, Great, nice. see ya! <laughs> anyway, I'm out. <laughs> you know what, a, a, a drop of gratitude might not be out of line here. Yeah, she didn't even say thank you. No, not really. But that's, you know, that's just the way things go. When you are a United States... I don't know, special agent or something. Iceman's always getting the fucking short end of the stick, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, man. But, hey, we, we did a good thing. And we got like 17 points already. We are fucking killing it. We're doing it, man. I feel this. Get shirt, put it on. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go into the hotel. Just, uh, you know. Playing, playing with the boys. Yeah, man. I should have sang that during the volleyball match. No, okay. <laughs> well, I guess you should try that uh, lost that love and feeling thing on. Whatever. <laughs> Look, girl. Oh, oh God. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you, sir? She asks. With another quotation mark for some reason. <laughs> it was there. I don't know what to tell you. Yes, sir, she says. Here you are. I got my key. To hold you down, to make you laugh, to make you frown. Go behind counter. No sinky no dingy. No sinky dingy. <laughs> Transportation service. Five, 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 eight thousand. Gotta remember that. 
It's go to the Chi Chi Bar. We can go to the Chi. You want me to go to the Chi Chi Bar? Let's go to sure, the Chi Chi Bar. Not? Let's go visit the Chi Chi Bar. <laughs> can you imagine if you saw a guy walk into a bar like that? Like oh, this? God. No, just like oh, hitting yeah. the door and then turning around. This is fucking awesome. Some reggae right. MIDI style. Love it. Yeah. Iceman. <laughs> the Iceman cometh. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make some bad life choices before we really get started. So uh... her face slightly flushed. The young blonde lady says, "Hey, big fella, why don't you sit and join me? I'm drinking my thighs." Buy drink. Good idea. Yeah, man. Buy girl drink. Here's a girl drink, sir! <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't know if it's ever really adequately explained what you're supposed to be doing in here. Um, you're on leave. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously this is kind of the first thing that you would think to do, right? Like, so, oh, there's a lady, she invites you to sit down and have a couple of drinks with her. You know? Um, drink. Yeah, we're gonna sit here, sort of enjoy Talk to ourselves, her. have a good drink. Talk, girl. <laughs> I sure could go for a Mai Tai, she says to you, drinking a Mai Tai. <laughs> yep. I just bought you one. Bartender! I wanna get fucked! Yeah. Now that I'm paying, <laughs> she's, she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna have a few. Buy drink. Oh, God. I think you are making a lot of bad decisions here. Mm, bad life choices. But you're on leave. You should be able to do this. We're totally on leave. John John Westland or whatever my name is. I'm 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 gonna get myself fucked up. Bartender, I didn't fuck him. <laughs> so anyway. Oh <laughs> where, yeah. Where? Do you know what's in my tie? I think a coconut is in it. It's sweet a cool MT32 soundtrack. Oh, I saw a coconut once and it had a face on it and it looked at me and he said, Hey, you want to come back to my place? And I said, No, you're a coconut. Jesus. You know what? You need, <laughs> this you girl need is another fascinating. drink. This <laughs> 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 I'm dead. Wow. Uh, and he's not so... concerned at all. <laughs> Zero Perform fucks, CPR. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Crawling on the floor in an attempt to regain her balance, Lisa protests. Hey, come on now. I ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. Whoa, you really fucked her up good. Yeah, man. Love the song. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's go try one of these other oh, ones. Oh, I'm so into this. So, does that matter what we just did there? Uh, not overly. It's not funny. overly? It was funny. Look, woman. A nice looking woman is having a drink. Alone. <laughs> you receive no answer when you talk to her. My husband will be joining me in a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah? Where does your fictional husband fictional work? <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you think he'd want to meet me? <laughs> well, hello, she exclaims. Wow, she's a stunner. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think I heard a ding when her uh, her teeth bleed. This is such a beautiful island. And she continues. Being a stewardess sure makes it affordable. All right, guys. I we're can't gonna... wait to do leisure suit later, Larry. Yeah, I can't we're wait. we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're going to woo this uh, this island uh, stewardess lady. Uh, but for the moment, uh, that's about all the time that we have. So thank you for joining us for this Sierra Saturday. 
in Codename Iceman. I am totally stoked. We've got a lot of Me shit too. to do. Uh, we'll see you later today. Or Bye. momentarily, if you're watching this Look, all at once. Like, so. We got a badass that gets shit done. We got a fucking even badder ass, like, 80s MIDI soundtrack. This is everything oh. that King's Quest is not. Loving it. <laughs> it, it is true. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.